and welcome to Here Tutoring. In this video, we're going to walk you step by step through questions one through seven of the free 2014 to 2015 official SAT practice test, which you can find a link to below. In this video, we'll show you how to do each problem as well as show you the best and quickest way to do each question. Make sure you have the practice test in front of you since we can't reproduce it for copyright reasons. So here we go. Question number one. The topic of this question is setting up and solving an algebraic equation. To do this question, we first recognize that the word is means equals. So for 10 plus x is, we'll write 10 plus x equals. And then for five more than 10, we'll write five plus 10. So we have 10 plus x equals five plus 10, which simplifies to 10 plus x equals 15. Then we subtract 10 from both sides to get x equals five. Then to get two x, we simply multiply both sides by two. So we end up with two x equals 10. So our answer is C, 10. Question number two. The topic of this question is also setting up and solving an algebraic equation. To do this question, let's turn the different parts of the question into actual math. For the statement, when a number is divided by two, we will write n divided by two or n over two. Then for the word is, we'll put an equal sign there. Finally, for the phrase, the result when that same number is divided by four, we will write n divided by four or n over four. So the equation that we end up with is n over two equals n over four. Then we recognize that the only number that will have the same result when it is divided by two different numbers is zero. Zero divided by two equals zero and zero divided by four equals zero. So our answer is C, zero. Question number three. The topic of this question is reflection. So for this question, we simply need to see that for all of the choices except the letter E, if you fold the letter in half down the middle vertically, the left and the right sides will be mirror images of one another. So our answer is E, which just happens to be the letter E. Question number four. The topic of this question is vertical angles. To do this question, we first recognize that since lines L and K intersect, then angles M and P plus Q are vertical angles, which means they are equal to one another. So since we're given that angle M is equal to 40 degrees, then we know that P plus Q is also equal to 40 degrees. Then, since we're given that angle P is equal to 25 degrees, then we know that angle Q will equal 40 minus 25 degrees, which is 15 degrees. So our answer is A, 15. Question number five. The topic of this question is finding the equation. The best way to do this question is to plug in pairs of numbers from the table into the answer choices and see what works. Probably the quickest way to do this is to start with the pair x equals zero and y equals negative three since zero is an easy number to work with. When we plug these numbers in, we can easily eliminate choices C, D, and E. For C and D, we'll end up with negative three equals six, and for E, we'll end up with negative three equals negative seven, which are obviously wrong. Next, we'll just choose another pair to plug in, preferably a pair without a one in it, since one tends to make a lot of things true. So let's try the pair X equals two and Y equals nine, since they're positive. When we do this, we find that choice A will end up as nine equals 11, which isn't right. And we find that choice B will end up as nine equals nine, which is right. So our answer is B, three X plus three. Question number six. The topic of this question is percent of. To do this question, we first identify that David spends $450 per month for food, and that the pie chart shows that he spends 25% per month on food. So $450 is 25% of his monthly income and we'll use this to first find his total monthly income. Now, we could set up an equation to find his total monthly income, but it would be easier to simply recognize that 25% is the same thing as one fourth. So if $450 is one fourth of his total monthly income, then his total monthly income is simply four times 450, which is 1,800. Next, we need to find out how much David spends per month on his car. From the pie chart, we see that David spends 20% of his total monthly income on his car, which is the same thing as one fifth. So we simply divide 1,800 by five to get $360. So David spends $360 per month on our car, which means that our answer will be C, $360. And finally, question number seven. The topic of this question is 
exponent properties. For this question, the first thing we need to do is change both numbers to have the same base by rewriting 8 as 2 to the third. So, now we have 2 to the third to the n equals 2 to the k. Then, we need to recognize that we can combine an exponent that has another exponent by multiplying the two exponents together. So we now have 2 to the 3n equals 2 to the k. Then, since the two numbers have the same bases, we can then just set the two exponents equal to each other. So we have 3n equals k. Finally, we need to just get the equation to have n over k on one side. We do this by dividing both sides by k, which gives us 3n over k equals 1. And finally, we divide both sides by 3 to get n over k equals 1 over 3. So our answer is b, 1 over 3. In the next video, we'll go over the answers for numbers 8 through 14 of this same SAT practice test. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and remember to like and subscribe to support and stay updated with our videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you there.